Jerry Jones moved off Tony Romo, who was like his son. You don't think he's going to move off Dak Prescott? Come on now. How about them Cowboys? Well, what about them? The Cowboys haven't made the Super Bowl since the mid-90s. And well, Jerry Jones must be getting frustrated. Jerry Jones is so desperate for a championship, he turned his attention to his alma mater in Arkansas to get John Calipari to coach the basketball team. And really, it's been a weird offseason. The Cowboys haven't spent any money. Dak Prescott's future seems in limbo. And in general, well, it looks like it might be an end of an era. Another era without a Super Bowl. And that's why when Adam Schefter tweets the Cowboys could be a sleeper team to draft a QB, well, you gotta listen, let's examine. But first, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's talk about the Cowboys here for a second. We've seen Jerry Jones be loyal to players before, like Tony Romo. We were seeing him be loyal to Dak Prescott by giving him a really big deal a few years ago. We've seen him be loyal to Ezekiel Elliott by signing him at the time to the biggest running back con contract in history but one thing jerry jones despite all his loyalty when it's time to move on he moves on we saw it with jimmy johnson when he was the head coach we saw it with jason garrett who he like desperately loved and held on for dear life but then he moved on he's probably gonna move off mike mccarthy too so you don't think he'd move off dak prescott he might like dak prescott but when dak proved to be a cheaper option than tony romo he said, shit, this is business. I'm going to go and get Tony Romo off the team, and we're going to go with Dak. And don't think for a moment him going out and getting Trey Lance last year on a flyer deal wasn't just to test the waters and see, hey, could we get a young quarterback here for cheap, which was, I think, a fifth or sixth or seventh round pick, and bring him in here, and if he's any good, we have the quarterback of our future. That's probably what happened, but just like San Francisco, they got Trey Lance in the building, started watching him in practice, and they're like, damn, we misjudge that, dude. Um, but, you know, in general here, Jerry Jones is a risk taker, and of course, moving off Dak Prescott might be a little bit of a risk, but I think Jerry Jones has gotten even a little smarter throughout his years, and I could see a situation where he keeps Dak this year, goes and drafts a quarterback, brings a quarterback of a future and says, hey, it's an open competition, one, two, you're sitting behind Dak, learn. And so it made me wonder, who would be the possible quarterbacks in this draft that are realistic for Jerry Jones to go out to get? He's not going to go out and get a J.J. McCarthy, who is probably going to be end up being a top 10 pick, despite me not thinking he should be a top 10 pick. He's not going to go ahead and go get a Drake May, Jaden Daniels, nor a Caleb Williams. It's just not going to happen. I mean, that would be a surprise. They'd have to trade their whole entire draft to go up to get one of those guys or mortgage your future for it. And with them having Dak Prescott this year, I just don't see him doing that. But could they possibly move up a little bit in the draft for a Bo Nix? Yeah, it's quite possible. Could they move up the draft a little bit and go get a Michael Penix Jr., who, by the way, with C.D. Lamb and the way he throws a deep ball, I think would be a fantastic fit in Dallas. I totally think so. But then on the 24th pick of the draft, the Dallas Cowboys, I really believe this is possible, and this would be a great option for them, could go out and get Spencer Rattler. The Spencer Rattler Dallas Cowboys quarterback sure has a ring to it. I could really see Dallas Cowboy quarterback Spencer Rattler, and I think it makes perfect sense for the Dallas Cowboys. Sure, you're using a first-round pick on a guy who's not going to be guaranteed to be a starter in the league, a guy whose stock has plummeted throughout his years in college, and he's kind of had a little bit of a redemption and got it back up to maybe a late first-round grade, second-round grade. But it's a move that I could see the Dallas Cowboys do. There was a big, big story years ago that Jerry Jones was furious when they didn't go out and get Paxton Lynch. And if you believe Spencer Rattler is that guy, I don't think at his age he's going to let him just slide down the draft board and not get him. If that's a guy he believes is, his, is a guy who can become the heir apparent to Dak Prescott. So I think when Jerry Jones takes a look at this and he does love Dak Prescott I think though he loves winning football games a little bit more I think he wants to sit out there one more time one more time in his life 
hoist the Lombardi trophy in the air. And I got my bottle of water here. I'm going to hoist it like it's a little Lombardi trophy and be like, how about them Cowboys? And ride off into the sunset. And I don't think you can do that with Dak Prescott. All right. Thank you for watching. This is the Sports on Tap. My name is George on Tap. This is our football channel, me and my brother Sammy on Tap. If you want to find my personal channel, it's right there in the description at George on Tap. It's it basically about my life. I'm a guy here in Arizona who likes to travel the world and loves business, but mostly love sports so i'm a sports entrepreneur so kind of about like the business behind it all and like what's it like to be a guy who works in this industry so <laughs> excuse me make sure you like and subscribe to the channel should have probably drink that water when i picked it up so i didn't choke um leave a comment below do you think the cowboys would actually draft a quarterback and if so who thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time